Hello and welcome everyone, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video we're going to be going over some basic settings that I recommend using for setting up your Light Architect lighting and camera setups inside of Blender 3D. Let's get started. So first, go ahead and open Blender. As I said in the last video, I like to start out with a clean slate. So go ahead and press B and drag to select all these items and press X to delete. You can press down on the scroll button to rotate around the scene and scrolling itself, zooming in and zooming out. As you can see in this video, we already have our two light architect panels on the side here. If you don't have your light architect panels, it's important for you to go back to the last video and install the add-on correctly. Anyway, let's get started with our setup. First, as I said before, we want to switch from Blender Render to Cycles Render. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to change the display a little bit to get a little bit wider view. If you click on this plus symbol here, it'll open up this sidebar, go to display, and I like to uncheck relationship lines and then change the lines on the grid floor to 400. As you can see, now we're going to look at a much bigger scene. The light architect cameras and lights are designed to scale so that one grid line is one foot in real life. So as you can see, if we add a Jimmy Jib six feet, it's about six feet long, as it should be. Go ahead and delete that by X. So the next thing I like to do to make things a little bit faster with rendering is I like to go to the scene tab and then I want to go to down here to simplify. Go ahead and check this. Bring these bounces to three each. This will make your lighting a little bit less accurate, but it will make it much faster. So if you have a supercomputer, maybe you don't need to check this, but if you have a slower computer, I recommend you check it and increase it to around three. Anyways, that's it for this quick video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to import third-party environments from websites such as Sketchfab or Blendspot so that you can start experimenting with your framing and lighting inside the program. I'll see you guys next time.